Now that, my friends, is what we're talking about. Those are anthocyanins. God. This shit right here, this strain changed my life. My state's medical program was in a dark, sad, cold, lonely place until I stumbled upon this runce, and now I finally found some flower worth smoking. Might have been a little dramatic there with my intro, but I'm not kidding when I say that this runce flower is truly amazing. Just look at that one nugget. I've been showing this strain off a lot on my channel recently, but even if you're new, I'm sure you've heard of this strain before. It's very popular. It's a cross between gelato and Skittles, so I'm not surprised that it's a popular strain. They basically mixed the two most popular strains of 2019 and got this in 2020. You really notice that gelato scent when you smell it. The aroma really just fills up the room. It is a very pungent smell. This batch is testing at about 22% THC, and its top three terpenes are myrcene, limonene, and linalool. But enough talk about the weed, I gotta smoke some of it. Gonna be smoking out of my quadruple honeycomb bomb with my dry ash catcher on it. This whole setup is available at my online head shop, pponlineshop.com, the number one online head shop on the entire internet. We got rigs, we got bongs, we got grinders, we got ash catchers, we got slides. Everything you can imagine is at pponlineshop.com. Oh, wow. <sighs> tastes so good, you just wanna savor it as long as possible. Even has a nice aftertaste. It really tastes as sweet as the flower smells. It's so sweet, it almost reminds me of like fruit punch. It's like just so flavorful. It's hard to like pinpoint like one fruit. It just feels like it's a clusterfuck of candy and all this shit just thrown into one stream. And this is truly my favorite kind of weed when it comes to its aesthetic. They're beautiful, tiny, compact buds while still having a really firm structure. The buds were cured very nicely. They're very sticky, but not so sticky that it just sticks to your hands or you can't even break it up. The nugs are a beautiful blend of super dark purple and light green with the red hairs bursting out of the middle, as well as so many trichomes. Some of the deep purple spots are so dark that they almost look black next to all those light trichomes. And I know the outside of these buds are covered in trichomes, but even the inside are. When you break it open, the trichomes split and it almost looks like melted cheese just separating. It's insane. I'm not kidding when I say I love this strain. I feel like a hype beast because I feel like all of the like youngins and this is like one of the newer strains, so all the like weed hype beasts are all about it. And it's not like one of those OGs, but dude, this is some fire ass weed. You can't say it's not. Got a fresh bowl packed up right here. It's super sugary on the inhale while being a little bit more earthy on the exhale while still being super sweet. And then definitely gets like progressively sweeter as the aftertaste just kind of simmers in your mouth. Pause. You know how there's like that aftertaste after you hit a bowl. You don't just exhale and the flavor's gone. Like I just hit that bowl 10, 20 seconds ago and I still taste the flavor and it's you know gonna stay there for a couple seconds at least if not a minute or two. Smoking this strain gets me super relaxed and has me feeling calm but not to the point where I'm just like sluggish or tired at all. I feel like I can smoke this in the morning, I feel like I can smoke this right before bed and any time in between. It's really a great all around strain. It's very euphoric, but I still feel like I can take on the world with this strain. Let me finish this bowl. This one's a weird angle. <laughs> Ooh. Almost got rough on me. If it was only three perks, I would have died, but that fourth perk saved me. I've seen a lot of discussions recently with people talking about weed possibly being dyed with like food coloring, purple weed in particular. I don't know if they actually mean food coloring, but I've seen a lot of people talking about there being dye in their weed or their weed being dyed a certain color. I actually recently saw a Reddit post with the exact run of runs that I have right now. They had a wet paper towel and they had squished the bud and there was purple on each side of it. And they were using this to claim that the weed was dyed 
and I don't think that they know what anthocyanins are. And I just wanted to explain what they are just in case somebody might have had this same theory with their weed before. And I'm not a scientist or anything, I'm just a pothead on the internet who's talked to a lot of people that have grown weed before. So I'm going to explain this as like simplified as possible to the way that I understood it. Purple weed in particular, when it's fresh, will sometimes like bleed a purplish reddish color. And this is what people on the internet are sometimes claiming to be like a dye, but that's not the case. These are anthocyanins. And again, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. This is how it's spelled. Do your own Googling if you don't believe me. But I'm actually going to be extremely disrespectful to this fresh bud I just picked up and get this paper towel wet, squeeze this nug and see what we get. I don't wanna do too big of a nug. I feel like it's so disrespectful to do this but it's for science. Squeeze it. You can almost see it bleed through the paper towel completely. Now that, my friends, is what we're talking about. Those are anthocyanins. It almost made a butterfly. Now look at that, you guys. If I didn't know any better, I would think that was some sort of food coloring myself. And anthocyanins don't only have to be purple. These pigment molecules can sometimes be red, blue, or purple. It really depends on the pH levels. Again, that's where it gets too nerdy for me to really understand. But anthocyanins aren't only found in weed, they're also found in fruits and other plants. So just like a blueberry, for example, if you were to squeeze it, a blue dye would squeeze out and it would even kind of like stain your fingers a little bit. So this is totally normal, it's safe to consume, it's nothing to be concerned about. And I feel like for experienced growers at least, it's like pretty easy to get purple weed if you want to grow purple weed. Like there's a lot of factors that go into weed to be able to make it purple. Like the genetics matter, the temperature it's grown, in matters. Even the level of nutrients it's getting depend on how purple it's going to be. Which is why sometimes we'll get the same strain twice from the same company and one time it's more purple than another. It's not just like this seed grows purple weed. Certain strains grow weed that tends to be more purple but sometimes the growers will do certain things to make it look more purple to be more flashy. I feel like when I was a young and smoking weed it was like the thing if you had purple weed it just meant like it was so much better and it really doesn't. It looks better especially when it has like a mixture of like green and purple like this for example I literally said like this is my favorite look when it comes to weed but does it really matter? Apparently because I keep getting it. And I'm not saying people have never dyed their weed purple before. The traditional market is a shady place sometimes, so you always got to be wary. So I don't blame people for, you know, being concerned. But just because your buds are bleeding a purple dye does not mean that your buds were actually dyed purple. Let me smoke one more bowl before we head out of here. Look how clean that dry ash catcher kept my bong. Got a little dirty, but most of the dirt stayed in here. And for something like this, I really wanted to make sure all the ash stayed in here so it was easy to clean. And don't forget guys, if you want to get a dry ash catcher or any of the other glassware you've really seen in any of my videos, you can check out pponlineshop.com. It's the number one online head shop on the entire internet. And I'm always adding new stuff to the site, so if you haven't checked it out recently, definitely check it out and see what's new. And if you need more pot porn in your life, you can basically follow me everywhere else on the internet. I'm pot underscore porn on Snapchat. I'm pot porn on Instagram. I'm pot porn TV on Twitter. So shoot me a follow if you're on any of those platforms. I always have to diversify my followers in this industry because they're always so strict on channels. You can't always just have all your eggs in one basket. So if you always want to make sure you got some pot porn in your life, follow me somewhere else. <laughs> Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, you probably did. And you can also subscribe to see more videos I post in the future. I try to post as much as I possibly can. And leave a comment, let me know what strain I should review next. I'm always looking for new strains to check out. But that's the end of the video, you guys. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeff. Peace.